Let's make a classic from that beautiful island of Trinidad and Tobago. Curry crab and dumpling. Come on in. Let's make this divine dish that's an always hit on your table. Let's get cooking. Hey foodies, this is Jenny here from Jenny's Walk. And look what I got today in the supermarket, my dear foodies. I got here some fresh blue crabs. But this blue crab is the sea crab, not the mangrove crab. So I'm going to make a lovely recipe for you today. Curry crab and dumpling. Cu crab actually is a peasant food. You know, it's a little scavenger. And this peasant food have become an international dish to that beautiful island of Trinidad and Tobago. So I'm going to show to you how we're going to make a lovely creamy uh curry sauce that you can enjoy with this curry crab i'm not going to make it you know long and run away from here from san fernando to port of spain i'm going to turn this dish around and you're going to see a classic dish that jenny's walk is going to make with curry crab and dumplings so let's get started so here foodies is these lovely crabs and i was told by the crab people over there that once you see the eggs in here, you know this is girl crab. So you leave those orange looking thing in there. So what we want to do, we want to clean our crab. So we're going to defrost it out a little bit. There's also fresh ones you will get in a barrel right there. And we want to give them all a nice little manicure. So let me get all of them loosened up very nicely. So there you go, go give them a nice little manicure. We're going to cut these off, cut this off. And this also will allow your flavors to get into your crab. Take those out. There you go. And we're going to take our brush and we're going to give it a good scrub. We're going to scrub in, out, all around because you don't know where this crab has been. This is the first cleaning for the crab. Some of you may even pop the gundi a little bit. Like you say, pong the gundi and give it a little crack. That's for all the marinade and seasoning to go into your crab. You're going to, in here, usually we'll have some stuff. Some of you may like to cut your crab in two. But the guy cleaned this really nice. As you can see, he took everything out from it. So in this bowl here, I have um, lime. I give it a good squeeze. And I'm going to add a good handful of salt. So what salt will do, salt will disinfect your crab. So this is a point when you have them sit here for like 10 minutes. Then you're going to go in and look at each leg and clean them. Open up the gunny and I'm going to give it another scrub and clean. Pull whatever I don't like, like you missed this, you pull everything out. So let me finish up. So there you go, foodies. Give it a good wash and give it a rinse like three, four times. Keep changing your water in your crab. So now seafood, as I always tell my foodies, add some milk. Yep, that's right. Regular milk that you will drink or eat with your cornflakes and milk. That's right. You're gonna add some of that in there. I'm also going to go back and add a generous amount of salt. Remember salt, I always tell you, it disinfects your meat and your fish. So you're going to leave this in here. The, salt, the milk and the salt will bring back all that lovely freshness into the seafood. So let this sit here for a good five minutes. The foodies, let's take a look at the sink now. So here's our crab all in this one. Let, let's, let's smell this. I dare you to smell this. Wow. You know if this wasn't smelling good, I wouldn't be sniffing so much. So by using that milk, I really want you to try that little game that I showed to you, that little tip. And you're going to see how, you're going to smell and see the cleanliness that milk brings to seafood. So now here in my strainer, we're going to empty all of them. Just drop all that water in there. And we're going to go back now with some cold water. Use the other hand. Yep. And just give this a little flush, just like so. And that's all done. We're going to rinse our bowl really clean. You can soak it up really nicely also, but let this drain out really nice. And now turn that water off with that clean hand and let's spray. Yep, yeah? because you know how these seafoods are. They smell horrible. And so give that a good spray with some bleach and your dish liquid. Scrub it down really nicely. And now we're going to flush some clean water over it, washing your hands and the entire countertop. So there you go, foodies. It all run out really nice now. So let's get into our bowl. Put that in there. Some of them is tarnished, but that's okay. I kind of come out. That's just the way that crab is. So, so my crab eaters, you all will know exactly what's going on. So here I have some fish seasoning. Whatever you have, you go ahead and marinate your crab. And I want to add just a little hint. I have a little bit of curry, masala, garam masala, whatever have you. Just Hit it with one nice little shot. 
and of course you all know what this is this is my green herbs and i want to add a little bit of vinegar whatever vinegar you have you go ahead yes i'm being fancy i got me some coconut vinegar yep you know i got lots of fruit flavored vinegar now if you wish to add a little touch of oil which i want to add because it's a shell you know i want to add that in there i'm not putting any salt in here i'm going to use my fingers and get all of this marinade into the crab. Now the crab is just a whole bunch of shell. It's only in the belly part, really. Those marinade is going to infuse. So let's just do that and set this now on the side. And let this just sit there until you're ready with your curry sauce or curry flavor to add it to the dish. So in my saucepan, I'm going to turn the heat on. I'm going to add just a little bit of oil in there, foodies. And in here, I have some white onions, just cut them. You don't have to cut them too small. Are you seeing me there? I have here one chili, just give that like three cuts. I have garlic, chop that just like so. Three cloves of garlic. And um, I have here a piece of ginger, just give it a rough cut. And I want to add the tomato in. So just cut your tomato, just rough chop again. Just like so. And this we're gonna be making our lovely creamy paste. My heat is coming up in the oil, so I want to just toast some of our nuts in there. And here I have cumin seed and one cardamom pod. And let's cook that up for like two minutes. So this looks about good. So now let's add everything that we just chopped. So this is cooking very nice, and you all know I like to add my herbs and peppers. So here I'm going to add one pepper. And one of that green herb, also known as our green seeds, so that have all those pandemia and everything inside of that. So this looks very beautiful, my dear foodies. It's frying really lovely. So now I just want to add some fennel seeds. One minute. Let that fennel just infuse in there. And we're going to turn this off and we're going to zap this. So in my pot of the heat now, foodies, I want to use my mustard oil, edible mustard oil. You're going to add that in the bay leaf. And here I have some mustard seed and some cumin seeds. Let that come up to a nice little fry. We're gonna to toast that up very nicely. And in here, while that will be coming up, I have my very finely chopped onions, ginger garlic paste, and one whole habanero. Okay, this looks beautiful now, and my, my spoon is so noisy, right? So what we're going to do now, foodies, here I have my lovely coconut curry powder. I'm going to add a little bit in there. And I want to add some crayfish powder to bring back that lovely, there you go, that lovely fishy flavor back to that crab. And in here I have turmeric and some red chili powder. And now let's give that a good mix. And I want to add just about one tablespoon full of water. Let me get that water in, mix it in that powder there. Beautiful. Okay, foodie, so you see there's only oils in the pot now. So remember this, what we made, and I zap it and I strained it off. Let's add all that creamy goodness in there. And I want to add some more water in there. And I'm going to boil this to perfection. Let all those lovely flavors combine together. And I'm just going to add just a pinch of salt. And mix this up really nicely. Yeah, so let's take a look now at this lovely creamy curry. Oh, wow. That's a lot of anger in that pot. So let's lower that pot now, that heat. And we're going to add our crabs. I tasted it. Everything is great. It don't need any salt or anything. It's to perfection, just the way I like it. And now I'm going to add my crabs in. So you're not going to move this up. You're just going to add it in and you're going to cover the pot and raise the heat a little bit and let this cook for a good seven minutes and it'll be all done. Wow, that looks marvelous. The pot is in the middle of the fire, very good. Just get one of your spoon that you use in cooking and just put those gravy now at the top, on the back, right here. There you go. And we're going to leave a little bit of gravy because we need to eat our dumpling. Let's take a look now. So this is done. I'm going to turn the heat off. And uh, if you have that garam masala, I have a lovely seven spice, my personal seven spices that I will parch and ground powder. I'm just going to add a little bit to the top. 
cut that apart and let that infuse and this is all done okay foodies so for the dumpling it's very simple just add a little bit of oil in the pot and i'm going to salt the water or season the water as you would say i'm going to bring this up to a lovely rolling boil this is kosher salt it's not very salty don't get scared let this come to a rolling boil and then we're going to add our dumplings in here to cook okay foodies so let's see for our flour now to make that lovely dumpling so in goes uh that's one cup of all-purpose flour tablespoon full of cassava flour you do not want to put too much cassava flour or you don't want to make cassava flour dumplings only because if you like that if you like it gummy sticking up to your gum then you will use all cassava flour but you have to mix your cassava flour because it's very gummy and you may not like the texture so this is why i'm just adding a little bit to it and then here goes some cornmeal we all love some cornmeal flour so again one and a half tablespoonful i like to season up my dumpling so here is um some turmeric for some flavor and color salt black pepper and some oregano add that in lovely just like so and then give it a good mix this is all you need nothing else and you're going to just add a little bit of water and bring it together now this dough you're not going to make it soft you want it a little tough because it's dumpling to be making combine well and now bring the dough together and that's it and look at that so simple and easy you see just a little bit of warm water you're going to use and just knead it up a little bit and now let this rest here until we put that lovely curry crab together and then we're going to boil the dump the dumplings will be the last so there you go foodies just add some flour on your countertop and open out that dough you're not going to do any much kneading or you could even open it out just like this with your hand I don't even need the rolling pin look at that hmm. and it's already feel very smooth and i know that smoothness came from that flour that cassava flour this looks marvelous so now we're going to cut into this so i'm going to do it the way my daughter likes it she likes it in diamond shape so we're going to cut like on an angle like this and there you go let me finish cutting this there you go and now you're going to hold a side and we're going to come down so you're going to get your diamonds right there she likes diamonds why i do not know but let me just make it and make that kid happy there you go and you just cut it down okay so our water it has that rolling boil so now just add your diamonds in there and some of them are not diamonds too so there you go foodies this is boiling really nice they all come up we have a little other shapes than the diamonds but we will use the diamonds let that continue boiling use the same pot add a little bit of oil and of course it's a lovely trini dish so you know we're going to go in with that rich creole flavor of golden ray let me get that packet and show to you that lovely golden ray that adds that rich creole flavor there you go my hot peppers carrots some red mini sweet peppers my shallots and some parsley all of that going there infuse for a good one minute there you go nice and buttery you're not doing too much of cooking you're just melting everything very beautiful here's our diamond shape and other different shapes of that lovely uh, dumpling in goes all of those dumplings lower the heat now lovely recipe here from jenny's wall putting my own little twist into this divine dish irresistible okay foodies let's put this lovely dish together take a look at that only if you could smell my kitchen it don't smell like seafood it smells very divine that you could eat everything in here so first i want to take this big guy out with that lovely claw close it in a little bit for the presentation put him on the side right there how does that look beautiful and we're going to add that pepper right in there now let's come over here to our diamonds yep we're going to add some of that lovely dumplings if i could find all these diamonds dumpling as requested so here you go foodies let's add a little bit of drizzle that lovely creaminess of that curry gravy onto your crab and let's do a little drip around And this gravy here is for your dumpling. There you go. Divine dish to enjoy anytime with your friends, with your family. A quick cook up, a beach lime dish, a lovely curry crab and dumpling is always a yes. 
So there you go, foodies. Take a look at that divine dish. Quick and easy do it. Our lovely dumpling with curry crab. Simple, easy dish to put together anytime, anywhere, beach line, wherever you want to go. Enjoy this lovely dish here from Jenny's Wild. I'm putting my little spin into it to make this lovely, authentic recipe from the beautiful island of Trinidad and Tobago. From my kitchen to your kitchen. Happy cooking!